Introducing Jean Peters, a classic Hollywood actress whose impactful works have left a lasting impression on many. Whether it's a specific moment from her filmography that resonates with you or a particular work that holds a special place in your heart, Jean Peters' contributions to the silver screen have stood the test of time. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this talented actor? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we've got some funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up. Keep watching for more insights into the life and career of Gene Peters. What's your connection to Gene Peters? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to share your stories. Funny, shocking, or sad, we want to hear them all. Stay engaged for more intriguing details about this classic Hollywood actor. Jean Peters, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, has left a lasting impact through her influential works on the silver screen. For those new to her filmography, exploring her most notable projects is a cinematic journey worth taking. One of her standout films is Captain from Castile, where she delivered a compelling performance showcasing her early talent in the industry. Another gem in her career is the Western classic Viva Zapata, a must-watch that solidified her versatility as an actress. Stepping into film noir, her role in Pickup on South Street is a gripping experience. The movie not only highlights her acting skills, but also shows her ability to command the screen. For those seeking adventure, Anne of the Indies offers a captivating journey with Jean Peters in a swashbuckling role, demonstrating her ability to excel in diverse genres. If you're delving into her filmography, don't miss Niagara, a thriller that emphasizes her captivating screen presence. Her portrayal in this Hitchcockian tale adds another layer to her talent. For a more light-hearted experience, Three Coins in the Fountain provides a delightful escape, with Jean Peters contributing to the film's charm. Whether you're a longtime fan or just discovering her work, these must-watch movies offer a glimpse into the captivating world she created on screen. Jean Peters, crowned Miss Ohio in 1945, hailed from East Canton, Ohio, and graduated from East Canton High School in 1944. Despite her success in the pageant, she stayed true to her roots and pursued her passion for acting. In 1947, she was set to make her film debut in I Wonder Who's Kissing Her Now, but turned down the role due to its requirement for an unflattering appearance. This early decision showcased her commitment to staying genuine and rejecting roles solely based on looks. Beyond her pageant days, Peters became a prominent figure in classic Hollywood. Her impactful performances in films like Captain from Castile and Viva Zapata displayed her early talent and versatility. Pickup on South Street further solidified her position in the industry, demonstrating her ability to command the screen in film noir. Venturing into adventurous roles, she took on Anne of the Indies, proving her capability to excel in diverse genres. In the Hitchcockian thriller Niagara, she added another layer to her acting skills, captivating audiences with her on-screen presence. For those seeking a lighter cinematic experience, Three Coins in the Fountain provides a delightful escape, with Peters contributing to the film's charm. Exploring Jean Peters' varied career, it's evident that her influence on classic Hollywood extends beyond pageantry. Her ability to tackle different genres and roles speaks to her dedication to authentic storytelling in cinema. Jean Peters, the iconic Hollywood actress, showcased a strong determination to pursue a college degree in literature. When not gracing the silver screen, she returned to her roots, dedicating time to study at Ohio State University. This commitment highlighted her intellectual pursuits beyond acting. In her remarkable career, Peters held Christopher Plummer in high regard, considering him one of the greatest actors she ever worked with. Their collaboration emphasized the mutual respect and admiration within the industry, adding depth to her professional relationships. Despite her notable achievements, Peters had regrets about her role in Winesburg, Ohio. Until her passing, she saw it as her most significant career misstep, citing the perceived mundanity of her character. This candid acknowledgement revealed her commitment to roles that resonated with depth and substance. Looking back, Peter's journey from pursuing literature to gracing the screen, her admiration for fellow actors, and her reflections on career choices provide a nuanced perspective on different aspects of her life and career. Director Robert Aldrich shared that Jean Peters' strong personal dislike of Burt Lancaster played a crucial role in boosting her performance in his film Apache. 
The tension between her and Lancaster seemed to enhance their on-screen chemistry, adding to the success of their collaboration. In another notable case, Peters landed the role of Polly Cutler in Niagara when Ann Baxter backed out. This unexpected twist allowed Wood Peters to step into the character, showcasing her adaptability and openness to facing unforeseen challenges in the film industry. Remarkably, Peters resisted being typecast as a glamorous or sexualized figure, turning down roles that she felt were degrading. This steadfast refusal to conform to stereotypical expectations underscores her dedication to genuine and meaningful portrayals in her acting career. Her career path, marked by unique collaborations and the ability to handle unexpected opportunities, demonstrates a professional journey defined by resilience and a rejection of traditional expectations. Her influence on the silver screen goes beyond just performances, reflecting a woman who stood her ground in an industry often marked by categorization. Jean Peters, acknowledged as Max Factor's Star of the Year in 1950, not only made a name in Hollywood, but also supported academic pursuits. She financially backed psychology and anthropology studies at UCLA, showcasing a commitment beyond the silver screen. In Italy, Lydia Simonski often dubbed her films, occasionally joined by Dihia Cristiani, Michele Giustiniani, and Andrina Pagnani. This international touch reflects the global reach of her cinematic influence. Her varied filmography, highlighted in previous sections, show with her ability to navigate different genres from westerns to thrillers. However, her influence extended beyond acting roles. Peters pursued a college degree in literature at Ohio State University, emphasizing her intellectual pursuits beyond the glamour of Hollywood. Christopher Plummer, esteemed by her as one of the greatest actors she ever worked with, adds depth to professional relationships. This acknowledgement reveals the mutual respect within the industry, contributing to a nuanced perspective on her career. Interestingly, personal dynamics played a role in shaping her performances. Director Robert Aldrich noted her strong personal dislike of Burt Lancaster in Apache, enhancing on-screen chemistry. This behind-the-scenes insight offers a glimpse into the complexities of Hollywood collaborations. Her refusal to be typecast as a glamorous figure is noteworthy. Turning down degrading roles, she demonstrated a commitment to genuine and meaningful portrayals, challenging stereotypical expectations in the film industry. In unexpected twists, like landing the role in Niagara due to Ann Baxter's withdrawal, she showcased adaptability. This ability to face unforeseen challenges reflects a professional journey defined by resilience and a rejection of traditional expectations. Jean Peters' impact on the silver screen goes beyond her performances. Her financial support for academic pursuits, refusal to conform to stereotypes, and adaptability to unexpected opportunities paint a picture of a woman who navigated Hollywood with determination and authenticity.